I never spoke to anybody before. Um, I was out of contract at, at Newcastle, so um, I can assure you there's a f few more clubs in than than, uh, than the press would have you suggest. And um, you know, there was a, a few good clubs, but obviously when Man United came in, then then uh, every other talk was uh, put on hold, and, and um, the deal was wrapped up virtually straight away. Talk um, amongst some managers about your, you know, your hunger for, you know, more Premier League competition and your fitness. Did, did, did that hurt you a bit? Did that, you know, what sort of effect did that have on you? Well, I mean, no. I suppose it doesn't hurt you when you when you believe something yourself. I know I'm I'm hungry to do well. If that's, this challenge um, doesn't create a a hunger and a spring in your step and put a smile on your face, then then nothing will. So. Um, no, I mean, I'm, I'm as hungry as, as ever and I don't think I need to um, prove it to the, the people that have, have asked that. I mean, obviously just the manager and, and, and the club like this um, coming in for you um, says it all for me, so I'm, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm as hungry as, as I've ever been to, to obviously succeed and, you know, and I still believe that, that I can obviously do well um, in a top team like Man United. Does it irritate you that so many people have doubts about you? Given your record, um, in in some ways, I suppose, but um, the the people that count um, is the people that matter to me, really. Um, so, I mean, people have had a probably justification, really, to to have a go at me in, in certain parts. I mean, I didn't set the world alight um, in my last year or so at, at Newcastle, and I. Uh, you know, and that's uh, obviously that's, that's no one's fault but mine. Um, we weren't playing well as a team, and I wasn't um, doing my bit either. So, but in general, um, as I say, I'm the people that I, I want to impress, I want to be happy, are the, are the, are the, are the main people that I listen to and, and whatever. And, and there's obviously a lot of uh, stuff that goes along in the press as well that, that you probably don't take as much notice of. With the full pre-season, Michael, do you feel you can? Really give it a good go this season and, and stay fit. Yeah, definitely. I mean, that's probably if, if there was one thing that you touching on the, the previous question that you'd say that, that angers you a bit. That that would probably probably be it. Um, is is the injury thing? Now, there's no doubt I've had injuries in my career, but most people have. But you know, you continually see all the last two years he's been played with with injuries and things like that. But it's it's just there's no fa facts whatsoever in that. I mean. I played, I think, 33 and 32 games in the last two years. Um, we, we weren't in Europe at Newcastle. We didn't have any long cup runs, and there's only 38 games in a Premier League season. So playing 33 one year and 32 the other isn't isn't too bad. Um, and the only the, the two years previous to that, then yeah, I was injured, but nothing to do with being injury prone. I mean, if someone jumps on your foot, um, you know, and your metatarsal breaks, then you know, there's a long list of top players that have broken the metatarsal. And then I was foolish. I tried to rush back to get, get back for the World Cup and my leg had just come out of plaster and everything else. And I didn't have the muscle support for my joints. And, uh, and obviously my knee went, and that's two years. But none of them are sort of injury-prone, in inverted commas, sort of uh, injuries. And prior to, I mean, I'm 29 and I've played over 500 games for club and country. So that's, uh, that says it all. I think the injury thing is the thing that gets up my nose most if I'm honest with you and because uh, I don't believe I'm injury prone yes I might pick up an injury here or there but that's the modern day that's the rigours of the game it's faster and stronger and you know quicker than ever